So today's turning out to be quite interesting. Beautiful day to say the least. It's definitely still a little bit cold, but at least the sun is out and shining. That's what's important to me. Feels good. I woke up yesterday with a bit of like a runny nose, then a stuffy nose, then watery eyes. One of those feelings where all you want to do is this. Squeeze the life out of this part of your face. And I dropped my headphones. But I refuse to say that I'm sick. Even if I am, I will never admit that <laughs> because I think a lot of it is up here. So oftentimes when people aren't feeling well or they feel sick, the first thing they do is they lay in bed with a bottle of orange juice and a box of tissues and they try and nurse themselves to recovery. I'm not really one of those people. I think that getting your body moving, and this again depends on if you're really sick or if you just have somewhat of a cold or whatever. So for me, it's uh, it's kind of all up in here. So if it's from the neck up, I say go ahead and train. You're fine to train as long as you're not getting other people sick and sneezing and coughing all over stuff. But if it's from the neck down, if you have a body ache, if you have a body sickness, obviously rest is going to be your friend, getting your vitamins, minerals, drinking plenty of water, all that stuff. But for me, again, a little runny nose, stuffy nose, watery eyes is not going to stop me from training. In fact, I prefer training when I feel like that because it gets blood flowing, it gets your body moving, it raises your core temperature. So that's important for me to feel good. I didn't really expect to come in here and go for singles with the bench press, but I don't know, I got, I got to the gym and that's just what I wanted to do today. So I'm doing some singles on the bench press, then I'll probably hit a little bit of abs and cardio to sweat a little bit. And then I'll actually be coming back later on tonight with Brittany to get a real push session. And so I'm feeling good. I'm not gonna let this get to me, but time to go back in there and bench a little bit more. All right, not too great, but not too bad either. So got my 225 done, eight singles, that's all I really wanted. And now I'm just gonna go hit some abs, a little bit of cardio, go home, eat a bit, and then come back later on tonight. Home from the gym, feeling a million times better, and now I'm gonna make myself a protein shake smoothie and just wing it, see what kind of fruits and vegetables we have in here and just throw a whole bunch of them in a blender. So mango. Good, strawberries, good, bananas, good. And we got some kale here. If you ever make a smoothie and you use protein powder and then you're throwing fruit in, if you were to throw kale or spinach or any other kind of greens inside that shake and mix it up, you will not taste it. So it's not like I'm going to be tasting kale in there, but I'm getting the added benefit of all the micronutrients that kale has. So. All right, so we got all the ingredients packed in there. Let's go ahead, throw it on here, turn it on. Nutri Ninja Blend Go. Done. So that's really it, green smoothie. You see these all the time on Instagram, hashtag green, hashtag detox, hashtag spinach, hashtag kale, hashtag superfoods. You could sweeten it with whatever sweetener you like. You can use honey, you can use spices like cinnamon and ginger. So I'm a fan of these smoothies. I don't necessarily drink them every day because I think they have a detox benefit or that my liver is dirty. But when you're not feeling too well, you get your micronutrients in, this is a good way to do it.
All right, so that's the pre-workout meal. I've got some chicken, potatoes, and ketchup. And obviously, I just wanted to mess around with the new 50 millimeter lens and get some video footage. So I might start using it a little bit more. The only thing is, is that I'm about 10 feet away from it right now and it's like right up in my face. So with any other camera, I could pretty much hold it here. This crops the shot pretty tight. So it's not as convenient as using other cameras, but the quality is definitely cool. It's nice to mess around with something new. So I might play around with it in future videos, but anyway, chicken, potatoes, ketchup, pre-workout meal, and then it's gym time. All right, so some of you might have seen this part of the video uploaded as its own separate video yesterday, but I ran into some issues with copyright and music and whatnot, so I decided to just incorporate it into the end of this vlog. And it's just us messing around with the new 50 millimeter lens. As I said, I haven't gotten a chance to really shoot video with it, and I learned it's definitely not easy to do, especially without a tripod. So it's something that I'm working on, so hopefully these clips came out all right, but for the commentary in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I get asked very often, and that's how to deal with hate and negativity and trolls and criticism. And I get asked this from clients of mine to people who are just going to school or going to the gym or even those who are looking to start a YouTube channel. How do you deal with it? And I think it's first important to recognize the difference between them as they're not all the same. But one problem I see is that people cannot honestly evaluate themselves. I mean, take a look at what social media has done to us. Every single person has the ability to make a new profile, make a new account, make a YouTube channel, and display who they are and what they do to the world, whether they're being truthful or not, but at the same time, they leave themselves open to a comment section a place for people to dislike what they have to say, a place for people to, if you want to call it hate or troll or whatever it is, you're leaving yourselves open to that. And I don't think I've ever uploaded a video to YouTube without getting a handful of some negative comments, criticisms, or dislikes. It doesn't matter what the content is about, there will always be someone who will just click the dislike button and that's normal and that's accepted and that's okay. And you'll never hear me say something like, I love my haters, they're making me famous. I'm not about that shit. <laughs> you know, I try and keep my channel as clean as possible. I don't like banning people on the channel, but I will delete disrespectful comments. I don't like when people are disrespectful to me or any other subscribers for no reason. And I understand I'm cool with people not liking me for whatever reason, whether they give me a reason or not. Maybe they don't like something about me or my videos or whatever, and that's fine. I never force anyone to follow me, subscribe, or even view my content. That's a choice that they chose to make. And I do, however, accept constructive criticism as that's feedback. That allows me to focus on improving something. So I could tell when someone's genuinely offering me constructive criticism and not just saying something like, this video was stupid, you're a faggot, the guy in this video is gay, his girlfriend's ugly. You know, that stuff is gonna come. And if you're gonna say stuff like that, oftentimes I will just delete it because I don't want this channel to be about negativity. A big part of what I made this channel for is to educate, inspire, and just create a positive community for a whole bunch of different people. And I know it's impossible to just get 100% positivity, and I'm cool with some constructive criticism, but for those out there who are worried about being called out or about getting hated on or being trolled, that's completely normal and my advice is to just be real and be honest and be genuine with people. Don't try and be someone you're not because you'll gain a lot more respect if you be yourself. And look at some of your favorite YouTubers out there. It doesn't matter if someone has 10 subscribers or a million. I can guarantee you that on some days, even the most popular people out there will read their comments and if they're having a bad day, a few of those comments will get to them and they'll get upset about it. But it's it's important to just move forward because you can't let one negative comment overshadow hundreds of good ones.